but they see the glasses, they see the scruffy hair, they see the narcolepsy, and just, it makes them feel like I'm not good enough for that position. They just don't consider me as one of those types of people. Hey, Charlie. Oh, hey. Uh, is that, is that guy? Yeah, it's Chad Roulette, so of course he is. Um, oh, well, I saw your post on Facebook, I was just wondering what was up. A really exciting new position opened up, to, up at my job, as I was telling my friend without pants. Um, and I just, I've been really wanting it, and I've been doing everything I need to do to get it, but it's just a weird situation. Well, that's awesome, man. I mean, it's great that you want that position and all. Um, I mean, you haven't even stolen anything from there. I know, three years and zero thefts. I'm proud of myself, too, but I just can't get them to consider me as, like, a manager, as management material. They don't see it in me. Hmm. Well, you know, I know fun Charlie, and I know depressed Charlie. Everybody knows Depressed Charlie. Right. But I don't know Work Charlie. No, no, I need to see Work Charlie. Stand up and show me Work Charlie. Okay. I mean, this is, this is the stuff I wore today. That's how you stand at work? Uh, yeah. I mean, when I can stand it at work. You're gonna joke right now? I mean, this is your career we are talking about. I mean, if you want to be a Mr. Manager like me, we're going to have to change your entire persona. Really? I mean, I guess I need this promotion. I keep growing, but my mom's basement ceiling keeps staying the same height. All right, we're going to start with the way you stand. Stand with both feet, right? Shut up. Now, the way you are standing is the way a child would stand if he missed his mammy. I do. You know what? She's been dead for two years already. Get over it. Now, when you stand, I want you to be dominant and imposing. How do I do that? Look at the way your hands to your sides. If, you want, if I wanted to, I could give you a hug right now. Or after you brought up my mom, I could actually use a hug right now. What you could use right now is a way to stand that doesn't make you look like you are carrying your dead mammy's purse. Now when you stand, I want you to be dominant and imposing. Fine. What do I do? Okay. You got two arms. We need to start using them. We need hard angles that will separate you from the peons. That? Not enough. Put them in more seemingly random angles to th make it so that nobody thinks they can approach you in any way, shape, or form. Is this necessary? Is the promotion necessary? Okay, okay, go on. Good, I think you have it. Your face, it needs to be changed. It needs to be hostile. Your beard, it's a nice start. But look at me like I just referenced your dead mammy again. Now turn that shock upside down. Close enough, but we need one more thing. I need you to add in some movement to let your coworkers know that you mean management. Move the upper part of your body in 15 degree directions both ways in five second intervals. That's not 15 degrees. There you go, that's better. I think you got it. If you take off now, I think you can catch your plant manager while he's eating dinner with his family. Go! Is this really... I think this is going too far. I don't think it's going far enough! Right. Go! Hold on. Let me see it one more time. Now wait. Now clench your butt while you do it. Clench my butt? They're not even going to be able to tell that I'm clenching my butt. They won't, but I will.
Oh, hey, Charlie. Did you give up already? No, your car's parked behind me. Is that my... Is that my Tommy Wiseau bobblehead? All right. Your posture, it's perfect. But you're talking like a trainee. Step one, eye contact. My, my laptop was in that bag. My laptop was in that bag. Step two, anger. Were you stealing from me? Step three, Catch the person off guard. I was expecting you to ask me about the theft. I already have an answer to that. You need to ask me something I don't already have the answer to. Why? To establish that you are in control. The fact that I already have an answer to the question why means I've already beaten you at the sport of supervision. Eric, why was my stuff in that bag? Much better. You changed topics. But you're still inside my knowledge base. You need to go outside of my knowledge base. Uh, uh what's the biggest fish you ever caught? Good, again! Who's your favorite Disney princess? Impressive, again! When will I be loved? Never. Too much too soon. Let me show you something. Are you? This looks inappropriate when you push me the bathroom. Who's gonna be a manager? Um, I, I wanna be a manager. <laughs> Say hello, like a manager. Hello, it's nice to see you. That is you. not how a manager does it. Thank okay? you for showing hey, up. Hey, stop, this. stop. Say it like you're an angry dog. <laughs> now, replace that sound rough with the word hello. Hello! 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 That's much better. Now, make small talk with your coworker. Where are the arms? How are the numbers looking? Are you wearing safety glasses? It's important that you wear safety glasses. We need to stay OSHA compliant. Have you looked at your work area recently? Are you are you proud of how your department's doing? Because I'm not. You're an embarrassment, all right? Good morning. Oh, that's why I meant to say good morning. Okay. Yeah, I think you can have it right now. If we leave, we can still catch your plant manager while he's putting his kids to bed. Dude, it's I crazy. don't care. Now is the time to be a manager. Charlie, where are you boys off to? I believe in you. Good evening, Grandmother. We're indoors, Charlie. Lower your voice. I, I'm sorry, I have to take this. Hello, this is Charlie. See, you just made her feel less worthy of your time. Yeah, she's looking pretty sad all of a sudden. Now finish the conversation like a boss. Okay, okay, I'll get back to you later. Sorry about that, Grandmother, that was very important. The screw-ups at my office don't know what they're even screwing with. You don't talk to me like that! Grandmother, have you checked the litter box recently? What does that have to do with anything, Charlie? I've been getting complaints from your coworkers regarding the cleanliness of the litter box. Who complained? It would be unprofessional of me to tell you. In the future, please BCC me on all correspondence regarding the, regarding the litter box issue. Now, if you will excuse me, I have an important vendor conference call to get to. And it's important. It was nice talking to you. Always pleasant. Let's go. That went really well. You're shaping up to be a great leader. Uh, thanks. Um, um, Eric? Yes, Mr. Manager? Am I supposed to be aroused right now? I'd be concerned if you weren't. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, off you go. Too late to be doing this. Even if we knew where my plant manager lived, showing up this late on an unannounced visit is no way to convince him that I'm management material. Charlie, 
Managers don't make excuses. It's not an excuse, I'm just pointing out the lunacy of the situation. Lunacy is something for lower level employees to deal with, Charlie. If you want to be a boss, you need to focus on the big picture. Wait, Eric, what is this big picture? The big picture is anything that the manager desires at any given moment. That, that seems kind of impulsive. Of course it does, because a manager goes from the gut. If you want it, you go after it, no matter whoever or whatever it impacts. And your number one dream is to be a manager, so I'm gonna help you grow a pair and go after it. But I don't think being a manager is my number one dream, though. What? I, I met a girl once, you know, but for real, though. Tell me more. Tell me more. Did you get very far? It's complicated with Becca. She's the one that makes you cry, isn't she? That was one time, all right? And how many times have you seen her? Okay, I've only seen her one time. So this girl has a one-to-one -one sight to cry ratio, Charlie? I mean, that's about as bad as your tears over time with me. I, I know, I don't, I don't, I don't even know that I even want her. Perfect! What, what's perfect? You don't know, but you want it anyway. That's some CEO stuff right there. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know if I even like her, but she just gets me worked up when she talks about like other guys and stuff. So you want her because you don't want anyone else to have her? That's even better. Better? How is that better? That's like some possessive Lifetime Movie of the Week stuff. I'm scaring myself right now. I mean, I wouldn't even know what to do with her if I had her. You want something, you don't even know why. You just don't want anyone else to have it. You don't even have any plans with it. This is by far the most managerial, romantic, and important thing you've ever said in your life. Wait, what are you saying? I say we take a detour and put this sweet poetry you're spitting into action. I don't know about this, Eric. Wait, wait. How, how did we get to her to her house? How, did, how do you know where she lives? We shouldn't be here. Charlie, we need to give your managerial words a managerial impact. Take this ring, make her wear it. Is this my grandma's wedding ring? Did you steal this? Shh. Just go with it, Charlie. Just go with it. Becca, how are you this evening? You can't just come over here. How do you even know where I live? You did not understand or respond to my first question, but I will let it go. I was wondering if we could make this relationship official by you taking this piece of jewelry and putting it on the fourth digit of your right hand. I, I don't really want to see you anymore. We talked about this. You mostly talked. I mostly whimpered. But I need you to understand the importance of me wanting something such as yourself and what you can do to make that happen. Are you a robot? What is this? This is a public demonstration of my want of you for everyone to see. And I'm putting it in terms that you can understand as my subordinate. You don't even know what you're saying. I know that I want this and I don't appreciate you second guessing your super supervisor? Okay, I'm going to go inside now and you're not going to come around here anymore. Becca, Becca, hold on. Just give me a second. All right. I got a lot of stuff going on at work. I'm a mess right now. My life's crazy and everything's like kind of a mess. The only thing that's kind of clear right now is that there's something, there's something here. And also, I think that we should lock down this relationship before either of our physical appearances take a turn for the worse. What are you doing? What? Eric, Eric, what are you doing here? My man wanted to give it a shot. I thought it would be funny, but
but it just kind of ended up looking sad. Wait a second. How how do you two know each other? Okay, now it's starting to get a little bit funny. <laughs> I... Eric, you said I needed to do this. I said you needed to deal with this. And now, if I'm not mistaken, she's pretty much done with you. We never really started. I know. Rebecca, honey, um, I'm gonna need you to go back inside. Excuse me, this is my place. You don't tell me what to do. Wait. Just, just, listen. If you ever want to talk to me again, I'll, I'll explain everything. But right now, I just, I just need that door shut and you on the inside. Just, you, who do you, what? I don't, I don't, do you, I don't know who I am. You need to explain to me what's going on right now. Whoa, whoa, who do you think you're talking to? I taught you everything you know. Why are you trying to steal from me? Whoa, uh, hey, hey, I gotta think. Simple question. Why are you trying to steal from me? You stole, you tried to steal from my room, you stole my grandmother's wedding ring, and you also tried to take away the closest thing to a personal relationship with a woman that I've ever had. You call that a relationship? That's sad. I'm not sadly anything. I'm furiously analyzing the decisions that you have made and wondering if they've been in the partnership's best interests. You know what? Forget it. I lost my job three months ago. And if you don't have the sack to do this, then I'm going to take that job. But, but why? Why? A manager doesn't need to know why he wants something. He just needs to know that he wants it. You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to leave, and I'm going to go get that position that you had your heart set on. First thing I'm going to do when I get it, terminate your unemployment. Oh, and you know that girl you liked? She just texted me. It was a smiley face. Should I be aroused right now? All right, Eric, what's the plan here? Um, flat tire. Um, no, that's too damsel and distressy. I got it! Sir, my name is Eric Daniels. Good evening. I graduated from business school in 2006 and I just happened to be driving by your beautiful home here. When I happened to notice a desperate, depraved prowler lurking around. No. But I scared him off with my authoritative tone and presence. Oh, a prowler at this hour, that's insane. The only thing I care more about than my family is my business. Um, did you get a good look at him? Um, you know, not a great look, but he was. 165 pounds, he had a scraggly beard, glasses. He looked like the kind of guy that um, just didn't belong in a workplace. I wouldn't want to know him personally or professionally. Oh my gosh, the horrors. Would you like to come in for a moment? Well, you know, I was on my way to fax my acceptance letter for the job I just got, but um, I, I think I could spare a moment, yeah. Yes, yes, come in, come in. Take a seat on the couch here in front of the fire. So congratulations on your new management position. Is the company local? No, but um, they are a very strong organization. However, I, I did have my hopes set on staying local, possibly with that one company. I have this great idea that I've been thinking about for quite a while now, and um, I could save them tons of money by increasing effectiveness by 7%. 7%? Oh my gosh, that's incredible. 
It's like you've worked for me for over three years and haven't even stolen anything. Working for you? I have a confession to make. I am the hiring and firing manager of that one company. What a wonderful happenstance. I had no idea. No! Wait, wait, wait. Charlie? This is the depraved prowler. Wait a second, this is the man you saw outside my domestic household? Why, this man has worked for me for three years without even stealing anything. Are you really secure having a peeping Tom working for you in a low-level, non-supervisory position? I was just about ready to give this man the new management position that opened up at that one company. Wait, wait. I was being considered for that management position? But... But I didn't think I was management material. Charlie, everyone has management material deep inside of them. Whether they demonstrate it by a professional attire and attitude like the successful young man next to me, or they show it in the way they help others, in the fruity little smile they get when they, when they do a job well. If it wasn't for this whole prowling incident, you could have went far at that one company. I just don't know what happened. But... I'm afraid you've gone too far this time. Security! Young man, if you were to show some initiative in this situation, it would do wonders for your career prospects at that one company. It would be my pleasure, sir. Hold, hold it, hold it. Can I recommend a more professional way to solve this? The guy beating it in the bushes is going to give us advice not to be professional. This should be good. Okay, I challenge Eric to a management off. And the winner would stay and the loser walks. Well, I am concerned about the well-being of myself and my family. But I've never been one to turn down a good management off. Give me one moment. Have at it, boys. Round one. Fight! Our first event will be the handshake. Greet each other professionally. Point, Eric. Well done. You lose. Next event is professional stance. Round two. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Charlie, I don't know if you're mocking management or if you just have a case of the shakes. Point, Eric. Next event is cost savings. Save that one company some money now. Round three, fight! Cut health insurance because it's expensive? I was thinking if we canceled a tuition reimbursement and any 401k supplements, we'll not only save money, but we'll force employees to stay here longer because they don't have opportunities to retire or get smart. Point Charlie, well done. Next event, employee critique. My son drew something here. Um, give me your best analysis. Round four, fight. All right. Um, yeah, this would be acceptable if the uh, task was to put as much random crap onto a piece of paper as possible and make it look horrible. Um, your son has been on this earth far, far too long to keep making these same mistakes, and I would recommend that he be terminated immediately. That's my son you're talking about. That's my son! Charlie, say something not terrible and the point's yours. I think this document shows a lot of potential. Um, if you put, if you bold some uh, of the Excel cells in here and make it a little bit easier to follow, 
I think that uh, we can get a lot of use out of this. And even if you don't understand this document, um, you can just follow along with the cells and pretend like you're paying attention. So I think it has potential. Point Charlie. Flawless victory. Toasty! Daddy, can I have a glass of water? My, my boy, you're up. Uh, gentlemen, tell my son that he can't have a glass of water. Round five! Hey, little guy. You know, it's late, and if I were you a glass of water now, you'd, uh, um, probably urinate all over your bedspread and toys. Um, would you want that to happen? No? Do you still want a glass of water? Yes. You can't have any. Charlie, it's your turn. Can I have a glass of water? Okay, I respect your opinion and all, but if, if your subordinate needs something and it's easy for you to provide and it helps them do their job, in this case, which is get to sleep better, then just give them a glass of water. Here you go, little guy. Thank you. Go ahead and drink up. Try to go to the bathroom first before you, get, before you go to bed, though, so you don't urinate all over your bedspread and toys, okay? Okay. Good night. Point Charlie. What? He just disobeyed a direct order. He should be fired for insubordination. Okay, the kid was thirsty. At the end of the day, the manager is supposed to give his people what they need to succeed. You know what, Eric? I remember when I had my first date with Becca. I was so nervous, and you came over and you guided me through it. And that's what a manager does. You help your people when they need help, and you let them fly when they're ready to fly. I, I thought you knew that, but I guess losing your job made you forget it. Eric, after careful consideration, I regret to inform you that the position at that one company is no longer available. Thank you so much for applying. Best of luck. Hey, Eric. It was nice working with you. Real mature. Should I be aroused right now? Charlie, would you make me the happiest plant manager in the world and join me in the management field? Are you kidding me with this report? Are you kidding me with this report? It's a joke. It's garbage. Pick it up. It's like you took the jokes off a popsicle stick, stuck that stick up your butt, and then submitted it as a cost analysis. You know where that report belongs? Plus in the garbage. Plus in the trash. Plus in the garbage. You like that? Keep picking up. This is a joke, this ain't a joke. So you got some water here. You know, baby shouldn't have a uh, baby shouldn't have water before bedtime. Cause him to urinate all over his bedspread and toys. Don't laugh. This ain't a joke. Keep picking them up. One last thing. Um, this whole me yelling at you thing wasn't very productive for the company. So I'm gonna have to dock 30 minutes from your from your timesheet. Glad you understand. Keep up the great work.